Hello, down there. Hi, and welcome to the Harris Museum here in Preston with me, Harry Clayton Wright, for another episode of Camp in the Collection. <laughs> Just walking into shot now. Three, two, one, and hit your mark. Camp has been around for years. Camp is steeped in history. In 1870, Frederick William Park and Thomas Ernest Bolton were arrested on suspicion of illegal homosexual acts after leaving a London theatre while dressed in drag. Charged with conspiracy to commit sodomy, a crime that carried a maximum life sentence of life with hard labour. In a letter produced at the court case, Frederick had referred to their self-confessed campish undertakings. In 1870, <laughs> inspirational. While Frederick's letter does not explicitly explain what their campish undertakings were, and I would love to know, in 1909, the Oxford English Dictionary gave a further clarification and first citation of what camp is. It reads, ostentatious, affected, exaggerated, theatrical, and that's what we're looking for today. Items in the decorative arts collection that are any and all of those things. Camp! One of the great joys of making this video series is that we've been able to have unfiltered and unadulterated access to all of the items in the archive and collection, including those previously unseen. So, I've got a very special game for us now, which is called... Here's some items we found in the basement. Item number one. Two boys with their arms interlinked and a small dog looking up at them, explicitly titled Friendship. Methinks that doth protest too much. Camp. Item number two. A floral candle holder. Camp. Item number three. A poodle holding a strawberry. Camp. Item number four. Two poodles on a pillow. Cap. Part two of items we found in the basement. A whole village in a crate of pastille burners. Why are they down there? I don't know. Does anyone know why they're down there in the basement? Not really, but they, here they are in all their gaudy fashion, looking quite lovely and camp. First up, we have these three plates from the Well Hung series by queer artist, ceramicist and illustrator Morgan Dowdle. These earthenware plates have been hump moulded camp. The illustrations Stunning. That pastel pink. Heaven. Acquired with the input of the Harris LGBTQ group in 2019, I love that these plates sit alongside items in the collection that are over a hundred years old. They're camp and I love them. If you've been watching The Great Pottery Throwdown, you'll recognise this design from the season finale where the contestants had to create 1920s Art Deco inspired sets. This work by Clarice Cliff served as an inspiration. Side note, Adam, you did amazing, sweetie, and I did love your Miami pastel vibes. This set is so much fun. I love the colours, the angles, lavish, camp. I love it. I too love pottery, and like Keith, I would cry if me ducks still worked. Just a quick shout out to William Shakespeare's blusher. We love to see it. Good for her. Camp. 
The description of this item alone will tell you why it's one of my picks for camp in the collection. A creamware cockle pot and lid, supported on an elaborate square base with scroll feet on which are seated four draped female figures. The bowl rests on a globe on the shoulders of four mermen decorated with shells and seaweed with four large shells. Figure of Neptune seated on a two-headed seahorse on top of the lid. C-A-M-P camp. The Harris Museum holds the largest collection of scent bottles in Britain. All 2,748 were collected by one woman, Mrs. French. Mrs. French began collecting in the 1890s and what started as a childhood hobby developed into a lifetime's passion. Although comfortably off, Mrs. French was a canny collector. She seldom paid more than one pound for a bottle, which is around 30 pounds today. She knew where to look for a bargain. She preferred the dusty old junk shops to the posh antique dealers. She also dressed down for the occasion. An old real coat, felt hat, an old canvas bag. Queen of a bargain, camp. Mrs. French, we love you. This bottle reminds me of Miss Eva Ernst, a.k.a. the Grand High Witch herself. Could it contain formula number 86? 500 doses. This has been another episode of Camp in the collection here at the Harris in Preston. And we've absolutely loved it, haven't we? We've had a wonderful time. Don't forget to do all of those things that you do on the internet, like liking and subscribing and leaving your comments down below. <laughs> I'll see you again next time for another episode of Camp in the Collection. Bye.